Hey, Kyle from Dragonline Baseball here. We've gotten a lot of requests on talking about how we do compression wrapping or voodoo flossing using rogue fitness bands or rogue compression bands or rogue flossing bands, whatever they're called, uh, to really help cut down on swelling in the elbow and the shoulder. Today I'm going to show you how we do a little bit of our quick post-throwing recovery routine uh, on the elbow. The shoulder is kind of a whole other animal, but this should uh, help cover it with two different views on a lefty and a righty pitcher, how we wrap the elbow. Uh, some of the details of this go are go into what like Dr. Kelly Sturette talks about in Becoming a Supple Leopard, and all the materials and books will be in the description of the video. Uh, so let's get to it. So here you'll see a left-handed pitcher. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, wrapping the mobility wad, flossing wrap around his arm, nice and easy for the first couple wraps. And then I'm going to start putting tension in the wrap a lot more, pulling it tight around the top of the elbow. So I'm going from the bottom of the bicep right into the medial elbow to the lateral elbow. And I'm putting a lot of pressure there, using my left thumb to keep pressure on the band while I pull tight with the right. Uh, if you're left-handed, you might want to do this backwards. Uh, for me, it's a lot easier to use my right hand. So I'm going all the way down, going down into the forearm. Basically, it depends on the diameter of their arm, how much I'm going to be able to wrap. Bryson is pretty lean here, so I'm going to go now across, put some pressure right over the medial elbow and get it to the top here. Okay, so now I'm gonna give one last wrap. As you can see, it's pretty tight. I'm gonna tuck it into the top to maintain it. All right, now I'm gonna do some elbow flexion and extension exercise. So I'm gonna flex, and you can see he's in a little bit of pain, <laughs> trying not to make the pain face. You go flexion, extension. Now I'm not going to full extension, really. I'm going to flexion to almost full extension here. That'll come later. Flexion to extension to really get out the swelling in that flexion extension motion, range of motion. Now. I'm going to do a little bit of internal and external rotation with the forearm propped up at 90 degrees, really focusing on that external range of motion here with the hand palm facing away. The orientation of the palm is not that important. Now I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to go down into internal rotation, hand driving towards the ground. Now again, I'm supporting that elbow with my left hand and driving that down with my right. Now I'm going to pull into full extension for a couple seconds here. This is pretty painful because the wrap is really puts a lot of compression. Do some elbow distraction here. So I'm pulling on the wrist while pulling there. Now I put some compression in the medial forearm here. Use my fist to really get that really trigger point there. And then I'm going to unwrap. And so there we go. Just release the tension. Reverse. Pretty simple there. So now we'll set up with a uh, righty here. Uh, to see how he extends his arm. Ex instruct him to turn his palm up. Now from a right-handed side, I'm going to use my left to pin there, use the right to pull, always going from the, some of the body towards mine, so from medial to my side, medial to proximal. Pulling again from the top of that bicep, getting a lot more tension here. Uh, you'll note that on one side it will be easier to get more tension, on the other side you'll have better leverage. So I tend to be able to wrap righties arms a lot tighter, but I'm able to get more leverage for lefties just due to how the anatomical structures work. So again, I'm going to pull that really tight, cross that against right over the medial, middle of the elbow there. Good. Tuck that into the top. Now again, we're going to go through the same series here. Going to extension, so flexion. Get some shoulder abduction there. Pull into flexion, extension. Again, I'm not trying to force that end range of motion just yet. It's pretty painful. I'm trying to get some blood flow from flexion, extension. And again, once this wrap goes on, you need to work quick. You don't want it cutting off the blood for a long period of time. I'm going to do that internal to external rotation, really focusing on the external rotation, putting some pressure again on that bicep anchoring there, supporting with that left hand. Just a quick 90 degree stretch. I'm not really forcing that end range of motion. Good. We're going to do a reverse now. I'm going to go from internal, external to internal, really driving that palm face down. Again, now I'm going to pull it into an extension for a couple seconds. Not too bad on him. I'm going to distract the elbow slightly support that bicep there. Now I'm going to do some trigger point, finish up there. And there we go. Not too bad. <laughs> Unwrap. And uh, he'll have some tiger stripes. You can see the blurring there, some of the bruising. That goes away pretty quickly, so it's not that big of a deal. It looks kind of freaky. 
So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, links in the description again for Becoming a Supple Leopard and where to buy the Voodoo Floss Bands. Again, the main things that we're trying to target are that flexion extension range of motion, forcing into X full extension, internal external range of motion, sometimes elbow distraction, and sometimes even a valgus stress test where I'm moving that forearm. Just depends on the day. Uh, I'll go ahead and list that at the end of the video, and all those products and uh, services are available in the description. Thanks for checking it out.